Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecturer in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to draw overlapping histograms in Excel and I'm using Office 365 here. So before we go and set up how we create the chart, let's look at what the end result will be. This is what we want to achieve here. In columns A and B, I've got by gender, males and females, the heights and centimeters of 25 males and 25 females. And my chart here in the center shows the distribution of males and females by height. So the light brown color plus the dark brown color here, that shows the distribution of females. And the blue color plus the dark brown color here shows the distribution of males. So we've got two uh, close to bell shaped curves in there. And so we'd like to be able to draw this, but unfortunately there's no default option in um, Excel to allow you to do this. So let's see how we go and create this very diagram here. So I'm going to a brand new data sheet and here, uh, as I've said before, my data in column A uh, represents 25 males and 25 females and the heights in centimetres for each one. So we've got 50 people in total here, 25 male and 25 females. The key to drawing the histogram that I've just shown you is the use of pivot tables. Now, if you haven't uh, or don't know how to create a pivot table, I recommend uh, my video on how to uh, draw create a pivot table in Excel. Uh, and the link to that is in the information in on the section underneath this video. So to do it, uh, click anywhere on the data here and on the um, uh, insert menu, uh, insert tab on the left hand side, the very left hand side is the option to create a pivot table. So select that. Remembering, making sure you've got your mouse or a cell selected in the two, anywhere on the two columns. Excel then pick, um, surrounds all the data for us. And so I don't need to select a table or range, but there is this one small change I need to do on the create pivot table here is to, I want to put it into this existing worksheet here. So check that button there and the position you want to put it, I'm going to put it in cell D3. You can put it anywhere you want, but I'm going to put it in cell D3 and click OK. And it pops a blank pivot table. Um, so we will now want to add data to that pivot table so we can see our pivot table fields uh, panel over here on the right hand side. We've only got two variables in column A and column B. So they're, they're, here they are here and the top box uh, under the tables box, we've got gender and height. So very quickly to create the pivot table, I'm going to drag height and drop it down into rows. And I'm also again going to drag height and drop it down into the sum of values. And you can see in columns D and E, uh, D and e over here on the left, uh, the data pivot table starting to form. Now this is based on the sum of heights, so uh, histograms are all about frequency. So I need to change the sum value. So in the very bottom right hand panel, uh, the sum of the values, uh, check on the sum of heights option there and choose the value field settings. That brings us up a little window and you can see we have some options to summarize the field and we're going to summarize the field by count. So select, select count and click on OK. Now we're not there yet. Uh, we'd now like to be able to have some categories uh, to create our histogram from. So to do that, and what I'm going to need to do is click on any of the data here. So I'm going to just click on the um, 153 in, the, in the, the first row of the table. And up on, still on the, uh, now we've got the Analyze ribbon displayed across the top of Excel. And in the Group section, there is a Group Selection option here. So click on that to choose uh, um, this and brings up the grouping window for you. Now what this does is it tells us what value do we want to start at and what, what value do we want to finish at. So I'm going to start at 150 because that's less than the smallest person in the um, in the data. And I'm going to have um, a maximum of 200 centimetres here. And my categories, I want them to be grouped by uh, five centimetres at a time. So the default is 10. I'm just going to change that to five. So I've got a minimum, a maximum and the bin size. We call these bins and click on OK. And that considerably reduces the size of our pivot table here. Now we're not going to do the normal pivot things with these pivot tables by changing and actually pivoting data around. Uh, but here we can see we have the data for all males and all females. And that's we're still uh, not able to make a distinction between them. To do that, it's very simple. In the pivot table fields on the right hand side, we can see we have the second variable here called gender. Just pick that up with your mouse and drag it and drop it down into the columns box on the bottom, bottom side. And you can see then that the pivot table changes. So we can see the range of data and distribution for all the females in column E. And we can see the distribution and range of data for all the males in column F. So and we can see that there's some overlap uh, between the um, uh, shortest male and the uh, female population that is here. So now we're ready to draw our, our pivot table diagram. 
So clicking anywhere on the pivot table here, our analyze ribbon across the stock top is still available. And over towards the right hand side here, we've got an option to create a pivot chart. So this is going to create an ordinary chart for us. So click on that and it gives us the different types of options. It's a column chart that we want. To, so the default one that's here, the cluster column, so just select that. Don't change it. Just pick, pick on the default one here. Now we're done with the pivot table. So that means I can increase the size of this so we can get a better handle on what we want to do. And you can see here already that there is a little bit of distinction. So here we have in blue all the females, so we can see the bell shape that's there. And also in brown we have the male, so we can see a bell-shaped curve there. So let's now try and get the, this to work as an overlapping histogram. So to do this, I'm going to select and start with the brown. I'm going to start with the males. And uh, so select any of those, as you can see the little select buttons around each of the columns. Right-click on any of them and choose Format Data Series. Um, I'm done with the Pivot Charts Fields panel here, so I can close that down. When we open up the Format Data Series, we should see here underneath the bar options, uh, the series options here, series overlap and gap width. I'm going to change the gap width down to zero. Okay, and you can see that the gap between each pair of values uh, is, is reduced. And the series overlap, I'm going to change that and increase it up to 100%. And you can see now we're already almost there with um, our overlapping histogram. But the trouble is we've got the male data overlapping on the female data here, and we can't see uh, the hidden female data in behind, so they're not quite overlapping yet. One is just on top of the other. So in order to do this here, I've still got the brown data selected here. I'm going to choose the, the fill can, the paint can on the right hand side in the format data series. It's called fill in line and select that. Now we have a fill option here. They might be collapsed, so yours might be collapsed. So expand the fill option and we want to do a solid fill. So select the solid fill option. And that gives us an option here. You can see that the colors have changed, but it's the transparency option is the one I need. And I'm going to change the transparency from 0%, and I like to go to around about 50% with that. Again, you can experiment with the level of transparency. And you can see in the background here that already uh, there is some transparency appearing. Um, I need to do the same for the females. So I'm going to select the blue over here on the left-hand side for females and choose in the paint can option on the right-hand side, solid fill again and change the transparency for this uh, up to around 50. Again, you can experiment with whatever value you choose. So I've got that. I'm going to leave the um, uh, females here. I'm going to change the color. So uh, you can change it to any color you want. I'm going to change it to a red color. And the blue here, uh, I'm going to leave that as blue. And we can see now, we can see uh, the blue options. So when I select the blue options here, just click outside of it for a second, I can see that the light blue and the purple makes up all the male data. And when I select the female data here, it also shows me the uh, uh, pinkish and purple colors making up the histogram for that. And we can see in the purple color here, the frequencies that overlap between the two distributions. There's one final step here that's just going to make it a little bit more readable, and that is to put a border on each column. So select border uh, option still in the fill can on the right hand side. So select border and just choose to create a solid line. So that creates a solid line for the females. Click anywhere on the light blue and do the same, create a solid line, and that gives me the uh, option, option for the males as well. So I can see here, by clicking outside it, I've now got my overlapping histogram. So I can see my distribution of the females in pink and in the purple color, and I can see the distribution of males in the purple and blue color here. So you choose the thickness of lines and the different colors and the different levels of transparency to get the diagram that you need. But that's how to show uh, and create a basic overlapping histogram. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.